Hello and welcome to the video series of finite element analysis. I am Bhavik Soneji and today we are going to see a free vibration problem in rod and beam. So let's get started. So in the previous video we have seen what is dynamic finite element analysis which includes the uh, change of the field variable over the time. So let's see the vibration problem in rod. So we are going to see the equation of uh, vibration. This is the rod you can see the rod is having length L. The displacement function at uh, this node is 0. The dis displacement here is the function of length as well as the time. So here we are considering not only the uh, displacement in Cartesian system, but we are also considering the time element here. So we are going to derive some equations. So the governing equation for uh, axial vibration of a rod for this rod a is my cross section area e is my uh, modulus of elasticity u is the displacement Rho is the density of the material. So by the relation between this uh, cross section area, modulus of elasticity, displacement and density is given by uh, this governing equation. So A into E del square U by del x square is equal to rho into A del square U by D T square where T is the time and x because it's a bar element and for the bar element we are considering the one uh, direction that is x direction so this is my governing equation now let's consider the vibrations are harmonic in nature so the uh, harmonic vibration can be represented like this the displacement is the function of x and e raised to minus i omega t so this is my uh, vibration factor i have added for the displacement equation Now putting these values uh, in the governing equation, we can rewrite the governing equation like this AE d square capital U by dx square plus rho A omega square U is equal to 0. So this governing equation is now converted in terms of displacement now this is my function now applying the uh, weighted residue method here so we have weighted residue equation so that integrated over the total length 
capital L. So it can be represented by 0 to capital L integration of the weak function and our function weighted. This is my residue, residue function and this is my main function. So integration of both these two things. So now uh, integrating both the terms, we can write first integration of this with this. So in the first integration, integration over 0 to L. Next term is here minus integration of 0 to L with the uh, W big form is denoted by W plus integration over 0 to L Weak function into rho into a omega square u, which is the function of x dx is equal to 0. So, this is the weak form of uh, the equation. Governing equation is now uh, written as a weak form. Now for the bar element, we have two nodes. Node number one and node number two. At node number one, force is applied F1. At node number two, force is applied F2. Due to this force, the displacement is at node 2 is u2, displacement at node 1 is u1. Here the x is equal to 0, x is equal to l. So the, the small l is the element length. And u1, u2 are the nodal displacement. So this bar element can be represented for global metric uh, global in global form u1 plus x by l u2. So now we have converted capital U in terms of the uh, local element, single element. So the weight function can be written as in terms of And the second weight function is written as x by l, 1 minus x by l and x by l. Now putting uh, these two weight function values in the governing equation and instead of a e by du by dx we we need to write capital p so putting all this value in 
the governing equation. We can rewrite the governing equation So let's have idea how the governing equation is. So here is my governing equation. Now we have to put uh, the value. This is the weak form. So in this weak form, we need to put the values of uh, weight function w1 and w2, and we are replacing the a e into du by dx, this whole term by p, capital P. So we can rewrite the governing equation like this. into u1 minus x by l into u2 whole into dx is equal to 0 and uh, for pl same terms u2 minus u1 divided by l Instead of minus 1 by L here, 1 by L dx plus 0 to L integration. Instead of 1 by x minus L here, x by L rho a omega square 1 minus x by L u1 plus x by L u2 into dx is equal to 0. So this weak form and the governing equation in terms of where first and second weight functions w1 and w2. Now uh, by applying the integration And again, writing the equation in terms of a e by l common, we can take the l common. So we can rewrite this equation like this a e by l is common in matrix form 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 and u2 are the displacement vector is equal to p minus p0 here so that's why p0 and pl plus 2 1 1 2 rho a l omega square divided by 6 and u1 u2 So now we have converted the uh, equation in terms of this uh, whole part is known as stiffness matrix. So it can be written as Ke. So Ke is equal to this whole part Ae by L. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and this is my mass matrix this is my displacement so mass matrix is written as m for element rho a l by 6 2 1 1 2 
so in the previous video we have seen the same for uh, any vibrating body we can convert these problems in terms of uh, stiffness matrix and mass matrix so we will utilize this method to solve the problem of uh, same kind so hope you find it useful thank you